talking about today, what the Lord has to say about the book of 1 Samuel chapter 28. Before we get started into that, we'll go ahead and get started into prayer. Come Lord Jesus, we invite you into this video today to speak through me everything you want us to know. Give us spiritual eyes to see the things you want us to see, spiritual ears to hear the words that are spoken today, spiritual heart to be open and able to receive all that you have for us today, Father. Give us wisdom and understanding about what we're about to read, watch, and listen to as we put on the helmet of salvation, breastplate of righteousness, belt of truth, feet of readiness, shield of faith, sword of the spirits. If there's anyone we need to be praying for, speaking encouraging words to, and or listening to, just show us that person. We pray that you take away any and all distractions away from us so we can focus on you. We pray against any attacks of the enemy over this video, this channel, us, our loved ones, our leaders, others in the world. Pray that you guard and protect us, our vehicles, our loved ones, their vehicles, others, their vehicles, our leaders, their vehicles, and the animals as well as we're traveling to and from different locations. Send down our guardian angels to protect us. We thank you for them. Give them and us the rest and restoration we both need to do the work you've called us to do. Send down the Holy Spirit to guide us into all truth today. We plead the blood of Jesus and pray Psalm 51 and 91 over us, our loved ones, our leaders, others in the world. We pray for God's blessings over us, our loved ones, our leaders, others, the world, this video, this channel. We pray for God's favor over this video, this channel, us, our loved ones, our leaders, others, and the world. We pray that you heal our bodies, minds, and spirits, Father. And we pray for the safety of our cities and the people in them. We pray that you show mercy on us and heal our land, Father. We pray that as we go to work today, Father, that you just work through us and protect us from others and protect them from us and that you just drive for us today. You protect our vehicles from other vehicles and their vehicles from ours. And we come to you in repentance right now, Father, and ask that you forgive us of each and every sin, whether it be in word, thought, and or deed, as we forgive those who've sinned against us. We pray for our enemies and anyone listening today who has not yet accepted Jesus as their Lord and Savior and would like to do so now. We pray John 3.16 over them. For God so loved the world that he sent his one and only begotten Son, that whosoever shall believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. So if you prayed that prayer with me today, you can know that you're going to go to heaven someday with the rest of the people that accepted Jesus as their Lord and Savior. For it's not by works so that no man shall boast. And there's not enough good works that any of us can do to earn our way to heaven. It's only through that perfect sinless life. And that was Jesus being born, died, buried, and rising again for the sins of the world and for our sins that any of us get to go to heaven. So Father, we thank you for this person that accepted you as their Lord and Savior. Help them in their daily walk and relationship with you to get into prayer with you each and every day, just like what we're doing right now talking with you, listening for your voice, and obeying what you tell us to do. And help them to get into your word each and every day, which is the Bible, and stands for basic instructions before leaving earth. So they can discern between the truth and the lies, and the truth will set them free. Show them the gifts and talents that you've given them, and help them to use them for your glory, to help others that are in need. Father, we just thank you for this person right now that accepted you as their Lord and Savior. Help them, Father. They just trust you each and every day and just lead and guide them into the path you have for them. Thank you for them and everyone listening and in 
We pray all of this in Jesus' mighty name. All God's people said, Amen. All right, let's go ahead and get started into what the Lord has to say about the book of 1 Samuel chapter 28. So if you have your Bibles and would like to follow along, go ahead and turn them to the book of 1 Samuel chapter 28, and we'll get started. Thank you. And it came to pass in those days that the Philistines gathered to their armies together for warfare to fight with Israel. And Achish said unto David, Know thou assuredly that thou shalt go out with me to battle, thou and thy men. And David said to Achish, Surely thou shalt know what thy servant can do. And Achish said to David, Therefore will I make the, the keeper of mine head forever. Now Samuel was dead, and all Israel had lamented him, and buried him in Ramah, even in his own city. And Saul had put away those that had familiar spirits, and the wizards out of the land. And the Philistines gathered themselves together, and came and pitched in Shunan. And Saul gathered all Israel together, and they pitched in Gilboa. And when Saul saw the host of the Philistines, he was afraid, and his heart greatly trembled. And when Saul inquired of the Lord, the Lord answered him not, neither by dreams, nor by Urim, nor by prophets. Then said Saul unto his servants, Seek me a woman that hath a familiar spirit, that I may go to her and inquire of her. And his servants said to him, Behold, there is a woman that hath a familiar spirit at Endor. And Saul disguised himself and put on other remnant. And he went, and two men with him. They came to the woman by night. And he said, I pray thee, divine unto me by the familiar spirit, and bring me him up, whom I shall name unto thee. And the woman said unto him, Behold, thou knowest what Saul hath done, how he hath cut off those that have familiar spirits, and the wizards, out of the land. Wherefore then layest thou a snare for my life, to cause me to die? And Saul swore to her by the Lord, saying, As the Lord liveth, there shall no punishment happen to thee for this thing. Then said the woman, Whom shall I bring up unto thee? And he said, Bring me up, Samuel. And when the woman saw Samuel, she cried with a loud voice. The woman spake to Saul, saying, Why hast thou deceived me? For thou art Saul. And the king said unto her, Be not afraid, for what sawest thou? And the woman said unto Saul, I saw gods ascending out of the earth. And he said unto her, What form is he of? And she said, An old man cometh up, and he is covered with a mantle. And Saul perceived that it was Samuel. And he stooped with his face to the ground, and bowed himself. And Samuel said to Saul, Why hast thou disquieted me to bring me up? And Saul answered, I am sore distressed, for the Philistines make war against me, and God is departed from me, and answereth me no more, neither by prophets nor by dreams. Therefore I have called thee, that thou mayest make known unto me what I shall do. Then said Samuel, Wherefore then dost thou ask of me, seeing the Lord is departed from thee, and is become thine enemy? And the Lord hath done to him, as he spake by me. For the Lord hath rent the kingdom out of thine hand, given it to thy neighbor, even to David. Because thou obeyest not the voice of the Lord, nor executest his fierce wrath upon Amalek. Therefore hath the Lord done this thing unto thee this day. Moreover, the Lord will also deliver Israel with thee into the hand of the Philistines. And tomorrow shalt thou and thy sons be with me. The Lord also shall deliver the host of Israel into the hand of the Philistines. Then Saul fell straightway all along on the earth, and was sore afraid because of the words of Samuel. And there was no strength in him, for he hath eaten no bread all the day nor all the night. And the woman came unto Saul, saw that he was sore troubled, said unto him, Behold, thine handmaid hath obeyed thy voice, and I have put my life in my hand, and have hearkened unto thy words, which thou speakest unto me. Now, therefore, I pray thee, hearken thou also unto the voice of thy handmaid, and let me set a morsel of bread before thee, and eat, that thou mayest have strength, when thou goest on the, thy way. But he refused, and said, I will not eat. 
but his servants together with the woman compelled him and he hearkened unto their voice so he arose from the earth and sat upon the bed and the woman had a fat calf in the house and she hasted and killed it and took flour and kneaded it and did bake unleavened bread thereof and she brought it before Saul and before his servants and they did eat then they rose up and went away that night and that was the end of what the Lord has to say about the book of 1 Samuel chapter 28. Hope y'all enjoyed and were blessed by it. Till next time. Bye.